my Swedish art favorite artists. These two books are borrowed at the library and these books I own and I bought most of the books in charity shops and antique shops. And I bought this book because I like the cover. I never heard of him as an artist. I love the simplicity of this painting. I like that he drew the face with just a simple pencil. And still it looks so lifelike. I, I believe this painting. Artist Sigrid Jartén. And I'm going to start from behind here. This is a pastel sketch and she did this in 1930 just goes to show there is nothing new under the sun when it comes to art it's all been done but we all do it in different ways and we all put our own personality into it and the next painting i want to show i have to fold this a little bit because that painting is a bit um naughty at first if i would have seen just the print and not seen the text here i would have thought she made this in acrylic or oil because it didn't have acrylic back then but it's a gouache she did that one in 1934 and the cover up and they are there just you can see the energy and the messiness of the flower because I paint flowers very neatly, but I think nature is very messy in a, in a lovely way. And that's Isak Grunewald. He's also a very famous Swedish artist and that was her husband. I collect art on Pinterest and I think it's so amazing that you can be an art collector and you don't have to spend money buying expensive art and what you can't do on an ipad or a computer is touch the page because when you pull your hand slowly down you see the shapes and the brush strokes and you notice small details one by one and that's a way to learn more about art so that's why i think books are so important in an antique shop it didn't cost much at all so you don't have to spend a fortune on art books and this book is from 1974 and i mean this is so popular today isn't it that type of art uh, i tried to paint like this because i like the wildness in his brush strokes but that made me nearly feel physically sick. That wasn't for me at all. I like my round, soft shapes. So I'm sticking to that. I love this book because it's from the last post of Sweden. And sometimes we do take on the board to the seaside. And look at the broad brush strokes. I am so impressed by artists that do that. And this painting is from 1962. And this artist, he, I had his pictures as prints in my childhood bedroom. And, uh, and after growing up with this picture, I always want my geraniums in terracotta pots. And I also had this kitchen scene. And I think she looks like a Holly Hobby doll. And I loved Holly Hobby when I was a little girl. So. And the home now is uh, a museum. This is the outside of the home, that shelf. I think it's so lovely. And it's in one of the paintings as well. And I want to show you that one because I have asked my husband to make this shelf for me. He hasn't made it yet, but it is on his to-do list. And the next book is a library book of Lena G. Love. This is his style of painting and I have not seen his painting in an exhibition or anything yet but I think I have to make a point of going to the art museum in Gothenburg and find one of his paintings. And this painting is in gouache but he mostly painted in oil. And I like this artist because I think he paints with a happy brush. And also this portrait is so happy. And that's gouache. And that's a, a girl, a Paris girl. So he moved very early to Paris. 
a lot of his paintings is very inspired by the lifestyle in France. And you can see this is like a typical scene in France with a coffee in a coffee house in France or a restaurant perhaps. And to another artist that inspired me a lot when I was a child because I had the storybook that he illustrated and he died 1918 in a bolting accident and that's himself. And this is the paintings I used to copy a lot as a child, especially the way he draw these rocks and mossy stones and the spruce trees. What he painted is what I lived around. This is what the forest looked like around my parents' house. And I especially like this uh, witch or a troll on, on a rock. And I love her green hair. And I also used to copy the way he wrote his name. The way I sign my paintings is just pure laziness. And I also bought this one at an antique shop. And that cost a little bit more than usual. But I'm so happy I have that one. And now to an artist that I think a lot of you will recognise. And that's Hilma of Clint. She dared to abandon illustrations and started to do bold things like this and these ones obviously the ones that she's so famous for lovely lovely book though i'm so happy i'm the owner of that book and now to a book that i think all illustrators and artists in sweden cannot help by being inspired by because every Christmas we see these as Christmas cards, her, her Santas are on Christmas wrapping paper, on Christmas stickers, on Christmas decorations. We just can't escape them. Right. Anderson, he was very famous in the US when he was alive. I have no idea what it's like nowadays and these are watercolor studies that he did 1894 and that was the pr to practice for this and before i went to see an ex art exhibition with his paintings because when i only seen these in in prints i thought he painted in oil and i was so surprised to learn that he painted in watercolours. And now to an artist that is not born in Sweden. He lived for many years in Sweden and that's Josef Frank. He is mostly known for his fabric prints. But this book is not about his fabric prints. It is about his unknown watercolours. And, and you can see in this painting that he used a pencil to sketch the flowers first. And he didn't mind the pencil line showing. I think that could stress an artist out to no end that one strive for perfection the whole time. And this is when they moved to Sweden and their balcony. It says the new home in Sweden, 1933, he made that painting. And I want to read something from John Bauer's book that he wrote in a letter to a friend. He'd been in Rothenburg and he writes, I've been out all day. I painted three watercolor sketches. And in Swedish he wrote, Jag har hickat av glädje hela dagen. I have had hiccups of joy all day. Can you imagine how much he loved painting? That he had hiccups of joy. And that's how I feel as well. I feel I could get hiccups of joy painting all day long.